what? Like I've been shut down sexually and you guys have oppressed me and religion and this. So like, I'm just going to be naked online. (laughs) Fuck (laughs) that. You know? So it's an important part of the journey in a way. What is that balance? What is that balance? I would love to hear from you what that balance is because this is the deep dive with Adam Roa. When I see someone who's talking about female empowerment and taking their the power back. Yeah. Why does it always look like being way more naked? Yeah. Uh, like how is that taking your power? I'm not sure. Please enlighten yes. me a little bit. I would love to hear your perspective. My my perspective to it for me it feels like false it power, like a false empowerment. Like I'm empowered, but again it's an important piece because you're claiming it. And it takes a lot of courage to do something like that. And it probably does activate the female in a certain way, right? It probably does. It's an activation, but then it gets refined. And I feel then you come into your, your purest power. So I don't know, just let's talk about like some ascended masters. Like you mentioned ISIS, but let's mother Mary and Mary Magdalene, two fe- two women that, that were, I, I know we're a hundred percent in their sex energy and in their power. Read the sure- Magdalene manuscript, everyone. If you're not familiar, I so highly good. recommend Magdalene manuscript. Yes. And anything about Magdalene and Mary, like they are, they're a beautiful expression of what the healing power of your sex energy and the healing power of union within your sex energy, all of it. But And I'm sure they were hot underneath their cloaks. Like, I'm sure they were, you know, like, I I, I bet you they were. But like, also, they were like, they were powerful women that made impact for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. And they didn't do that by just like getting naked and being like, I'm empowered. Like they did that by coming into the true sacredness of and learning how to harness it through their hearts. And, and what that looks like is going to be different for every woman. Right. And for me, it's not about what it looks like. It's about what it feels like. Hmm. What does that feel like for me? And, um, yeah, I mean, I'm certainly not all the way there. I'm just exploring it for myself. Yeah. I think it's interesting for me too, because as a man who experienced sexual abuse, which was a repressed memory. So I wasn't aware of how it was impacting me. I didn't have any awareness of it at all. Mm -hmm. Um, I, and you know, my freshman year of high school, so 12 year, was that no 13, 13 years old, uh, going on 14, I weighed 73 pounds and I was five feet tall. That was my freshman year of high school. I was a tiny, tiny, tiny kid. Um, and so I just, I never felt sexy. Like I didn't feel powerful as, as a man in, in the physical sense. And, um, so like learning how to embrace my own inner sexy and outer sexy has been a journey. I still, still to this day, get uncomfortable, um, in, in being, uh, like putting out sexy photos uh, of, of photos that I would be like, Oh, this is a sexy photo. I don't yeah. regularly do it on my Instagram or anything. And I, I understand the part of me that, that is r- resistance to that. When I pay attention to the stories, there's so many stories that come up around, well, people won't take me seriously, or I don't want, like, there's just so much. And I feel like, it, if that's coming up for me, I can't even imagine yeah. the amount that goes into a woman uh, and and her navigation of this topic where like in, in many ways, almost across the board, there's your opportunities seem to increase or your attention towards you increases the more skin you show or the, yeah. the more um, the sexy, you the hotter you like, that's a, a really fucked up thing to add in to an already complicated yes. subject and, and way of, of viewing the world. And so I can't begin to, to really understand what that must be like. However, I do wonder if you're taking your power back, 
If you're taking your power back and saying, I've been sexualized by the masculine my whole life and, and I'm now blah, 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 is the way of taking your power back sexualizing yourself. Right. Or is the way of taking your power back no longer having sexualization be the thing in, in which you're navigating it anyway? Mm-hmm. You know, like yet just popping into my mind now, I look at a place such as the Middle East, which I've been to, mm-hmm. uh, where women are covered head to toe, except for, for their eyes. And it's one of the, from the stories that I've heard from people who live there and who messaged me, one of the most sexually yes. repressed and, and so much unhealthiness around sexuality there. So it's not like covering it all up is the answer either. <laughs> No, definitely not. No, because yeah, you have it. It's that whole setup in the Middle East is because the men there have this, they they don't like, you're not allowed to show yourself unless I say you can show yourself, you know, that's a power trip. And then there's so much, yeah, rape happening and, you know, chill, stuff with children, so much shit going down there, which is anything that's happening on the outside in any country is really a reflection of what's going on on the inside of us as a collective. Mm -hmm. And, and so for, I I get that the focus has been what you look like as a woman. That's the focus. Like you're somebody, if you look a certain way, that's when you're going to get that. You're going to get the attention. You're going to get the guys, you're going to get the money. You're going to get whatever. Like if you look a certain way. And so, so much focus has been going on in how we look. And then how we present ourselves that we look, especially with the online world. And so I'm curious about the power. It's not, doesn't mean we can't express physical beauty, right? It doesn't come like, yes, be in your beauty, be in your physical expression. Um, And everyone was given a certain deck of cards with that one. There's only so much that you can control without plastic surgery and makeup, you know? So to come into full love and acceptance of yourself, still allow yourself to be in your sexual expression, your sexual innocence. But, but what I'm curious about is the, if you said women are so powerful, women's sex energy is the most powerful force on the planet. Women's creative energy is the most powerful. Let's explore that as women more. And, and honestly, it's, it's inside as cliche as it is. It's like, what happens, what matters on the inside matters. I know that's cliche, but there's so much going on energetically, holographically inside of our bodies that And so when we take responsibility for ourselves and our shadows and our grief and our ancestral trauma and the way that we work with our emotions and the way that we work with our creative energy, which is honestly a very inward process, it's an inward transmutation process. When we come so deeply in our bodies in that way and go through that healing, that's where I feel our full power comes on. That's where I feel like we can create worlds as women and men too. But we can, you know, at this point, you're working with your sex energy to create worlds for the greater good. And that's something that can't be posted. You can't post like, I've been creating worlds over here, you know, with my, with my sex energy. It's just something that isn't going to get that surfacey, like click, it's not clickbait, but I, there's something I, beautiful about it, right? Yeah. And I respect, I have a lot of friends in this space, you know, um, and women's empowerment coaches and sexuality Same. coaches and, and stuff. Yeah. And yeah. And I have a deep respect for, for a lot of them who, um, are talking openly about it mm-hmm. without it needing to be a bunch of sexy photos. Like that, yeah. for me, that I respect that because it's a, it does a couple things. One, I'm aware that they're also aware that they'll probably get more engagement if they yes. post the sexy photo. Yeah. So there's a level of integrity to, I'm not going to do that just yeah. for that reason yeah. that I respect. One and two, I also respect the fact that they're willing to talk about it openly. I, I think that the conversation is important, and I, I do think there's something really healthy to um, have those conversations in a non-hypersexualized moment. <laughs> 